Hello my friends, this is Dwight from Forest Glory 700 coming back at you with a quick video and in this video I just wanted to quick, quickly go over the uh, stay at home order that has been extended in the province of Ontario by the Premier of Ontario, Doug Ford for an additional two weeks uh, to at least May 20th, uh, 2021 and uh, I wasn't fully aware of how far uh, the restrictions were go going to be applied uh, for this particular lockdown but it seems to be going in a, a very dangerous direction in my humble opinion and so I just wanted to quickly go over uh, these extensions that have been given to the stay-at-home order for those of us in the province of, of Ontario or across Canada that may not be quite familiar with what's actually happening in the province of Ontario, but apparently effective as of midnight of, uh, what is it, uh, April the 17th, uh, these extensions have been now applicable to all Ontarians. And apparently it goes like this. It says that for non-essential construction will stop, meaning shopping centers and office towers, there will be no construction that will be done during this period of time, with the exception of um, residential homes, uh, box store capacity will be down to 25%. All playgrounds are to be closed, so there will be no activities for you to take your children to the playground to walk. It's, it's going to be closed off to the public. Uh, no golf or soccer or basketball activities. Outdoor gatherings will be limited to one household, meaning basically people in your own immediate household. Uh, Ontario border will close to Manitoba and Quebec, but remain open to workers who have to cross. Police have enhanced power to crack down on people. For example, they can pull you over in your vehicle and inquire with you uh, what is the purpose for your travel. And if it does not fit what would be qualified uh, considered to be essential, you can be fined up to seven hundred and fifty dollars uh, for not following through with the stay-at-home orders if law enforcement determines that your actions are not justifiable. This stuff is beyond absurd. It's absolutely ridiculous that this is happening in this great land once known as Canada and uh, the levels of uh, draconian measures that we're, we're experiencing right now is horrific to say the least and i can't believe my fellow canadians are actually putting up with this and of course the only reason i can ascertain as to why people are continuing to acquiesce or to comply with these directives and with these orders is because they believe that we are in an actual health emergency. Now, with regards to this video, I can't even make a comment about whether I believe that, it, that to be true or not. If I were to say anything in this video right now that even remotely implies that I don't believe that to be the case, my video is going to be censored. I mean, that's how ridiculous things have gotten in Canada to the point that you and I are not allowed, we are not permitted to have freedom of thought. Uh, and freedom of opinion as it relates to our current crisis right now, so-called. We are not permitted to do so because we will be automatically censored. That is, for me, this is not Canada. Canada has never functioned in that capacity, to my knowledge, in all the years that I've lived in this country, and that's almost my entire life. And I'm over half a century old. So to see the things that we are experiencing right now is unfathomable. It's words can't describe how I feel about this whole situation right now. And in my opinion, things are only going to continue to get worse. I don't see this getting any better. And then for the premier of Ontario, Doug Ford, his belief is that the only answer or the only remedy for any of us across Canada, and I would imagine the world itself, is that every single one of us, the answer to this problem is that each and every one of us 
need to get vaccinated. He said this himself. I'm going to attempt to attach the video or videos where he said that and as, and as it relates to the uh, stay at home order and the extensions that apply to it. This is terribly frightening. And I believe that what they're doing is intentional because since this whole health crisis, so-called, has emerged since uh, the winter of 2020, they have kept us in a perpetual state of fear and uncertainty. And they have given us numbers that they have not been able to substantiate or to verify in any way whatsoever. And that in itself is keeping people what in terms of uh, compliance, keeping them in line. And so they're, they're coming up with numbers for which, and these numbers are projections. They're not numbers for which one can look up for oneself to determine that, that, that this is so. It is numbers that they have projected, um, numbers they've, that they've come up with out of thin air as far as I'm concerned and uh, there's no justification to it so they're using these numbers to keep people in a perpetual state of fear and to keep people uh, compliant and obedient with the directives and the narratives that they have determined is in the best interest for all Canadians so if it's happening in the province of Ontario you could almost be guaranteed that it will go across this great nation of ours so that restrictions will be placed on us to the point that we will no longer be able to function uh, in any capacity without their approval. This to me is extremely dangerous and I believe that the measures that they're taking uh, are only going to further place us in a society and in an environment that looks nothing like the Canada that we once knew. So I would encourage everyone to actually begin, if you haven't already, to actually truly think for yourself and then begin to live as a free man and as a free woman. Anyways, this is Dwight from For His Glory 700, wishing you all a fantastic day. Take care. Goodbye.